uh, highlight the word logarithm. Uh, before we understand how to do log que logarithm question, let's uh, uh, let's write down what is the use of logarithm. Can you write down? Logarithm is used to represent very huge number. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you two example in real life. One in science. One in geography. You want to start with what? Geography. geography. Okay. Okay, let's start with geography. Now in geography we learn about earthquake. And earthquake is on a scale of uh, 6.4. 8.4. Which earthquake is a more serious one? 8.4, 8 right? Now this 8.4, do you know, this 8.4 is actually on a logarithm scale. So for example, if I talk about, so log logarithm scale works like that. Huh? Uh, if you still remember the video the other time, logarithm scale is not linear, uh, not proportional. Meaning uh, 1 to 2 uh, may be very big, 3 to 4 may be very small. Remember that video? Remember that thing that, that, that very strange thing that goes like that? One. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6, then 7. So it is not proportional one. It is not proportional one. But why do we even come out in van with something called uh, uh, earthquake scale of this range? Is because this number help us to understand the earthquake damage. Example, if it's 8.4 earthquake, yeah, most likely you are expecting a tsunami. Right? If it's a scale of one earthquake maybe you don't even feel it that kind of thing okay now the next example i'm going to go into is science now in science we learn about ph what is ph 7 neutral right so this ph is also on a logarithm scale all right now this ph is a measure of hydrogen atoms and this ph is uh, so if I tell you, uh, hey, the, the water is 200,000 hydrogen atoms, then you, huh? Is it what? But if I tell you, the, the water here is pH 40, do you get a drink? Maybe not, because it's too alkaline. So the number help us to convert a very big number to a very small number, so that all of us got a common understanding what is it exactly about. Understand now? Okay. So now we understand what is logarithm. We want to know how do we deal with logarithm. Okay. So can we look at some of the properties of logarithm? How do I even write it out? So let's start. This is a very important thing. Over here, you see two boxes. This arrow means two directional, meaning uh, I can change from left to right. I can change from right to left. Let's talk about the left one first. The left one is a very familiar one. Uh, is it familiar to you? Yes or no? What do you call A? Exponential. Oh, base. Base. Can you write down? Everyone write down. A is the base, right? What about the X? Power, right? So, nothing new about the yellow thing. Today, we are going to learn about the green thing. So green thing means log, then there's a small number A, then there's a big number, then there's X, okay? So how do I, how do I read this? I will read this as log base A. Can you highlight log base A, log base A? then of y, right? So the base here is the small number at the bottom, like base, like bottom, like base, so small number, okay? So let's see, uh, let's see how do I place everything in the picture. Uh, so I want to convert this. The first one is a exponential form. I want to convert to a logarithm form. Is it easy? 
let's try uh, let, let's play some photo hunt uh, idea uh, logarithm former means I will have log can you write down log then I will have a box here which is the base I will also have the thing here which is a number I also have a thing here which is a number now if I follow the green color and this this small little box represent the base this one represent the y this one represent the x can you help me to play a photo hunt uh, 6 3 and 2 1 6 which one is the base 6 right 6 is the base right so where do I put 6 the bottom huh? so this number here is 6 then after that uh, look at the yellow and the green color again the number here is beside a lock right so the number refer to 216 so this is 216 then let's look at the green and the yellow color again the green color here on the yellow one refer to the power so the power is always alone here right the power is always alone here. So this is 3. So if I play this photo hunt game correctly, it seems that I will have log this word here, uh, this word here, and this word here. If I were to put a, a somewhat like a word to help me, uh, to keyword to help me, uh, this seems like I will put a base. Am I correct? What about here? I will put what? The power, right? It seems like the, ba the base is always here, the power is here, and then here will be the what? Solution. Maybe I call it the number uh, with an inverted comma because all are numbers. All are numbers. So, so for example, uh, if y is equals to a power x uh, this one is actually the number this one is the base this one is the power now let's try c let's try c let's try c uh, may I ask C, uh, which one is the base? Is it 3 is the base or 1 over 9 is the base or negative 2 is the base? 3 is the base, right? Which one is the power? Log 3 as the base. The power is on the other side. And what is over here? 1 over 9. 1 over 9. Is that okay so far? Okay, but you can make 1 over 9 same base. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can also make 1 over 9 uh, same base as 3, but we are not talking about that. We are talking about converting to logarithm format. Now let's look at the opposite. If I look at 4, 1, 0, 2, 4, and 5, the two keyword I can secure is base and power. Let's make a guess. Which one is the base? Jun Yang, they say 4 is the base. Do you agree? Jun Yang, what is the power? 5. So Jun Yang, if I want to convert this, I think the answer is 4 to the power of 5 is 1, 0 to 4. Do you think it's correct? Can you take our calculator and press? Do you get 1024? Uh, then you know it's correct. Is that okay? So the index form, the exponential form is easy for you to test out, but the logarithm form is not so straightforward. Later I explain how and why. Now can you do the next one? If I want to see, if I want to say log 4, 1 over 64 is equal to C. Nigel, which one is the base? Die. Oh, 4. Eretina, which one is the power? Uh, there's nothing to type out for this one is 4 to the power this one later I teach you this one is 4 to the power of 5 Aritina, Nigel say 4 is the base where is the power? Huh? 
c. So can you write down for me? 4 to the power of c, sing hui, 4 to the power of c is equal to what? 1 over 64. Uh, you can simplify, you can solve for c, but that's not what the question wants here. Uh, so let's stop here, just like that. Okay? Later, can you solve for c? Yes, you can continue. Okay? Right. Can we? Can I introduce two more things? Then we can start to punch the calculator. Can? Okay. Can you underline the word common logarithm? 